Hello everyone. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe to this channel. The life and tradition of George Orwell conceived Eric Arthur Blair on June 25, 1903, in Motihari, India. Was an English essayist, writer, and pundit prestigious for his strong evaluates of tyranny, social treachery, and political defilement. His works, including Animal Ranch, 1945, and 1984, 1949, have made a getting-through imprint on political idea and writing. Orwell's composing keeps on reverberating because of its sharp experiences into the human condition and its admonitions against the risks of severe systems. Early life, Orwell was brought into the world in English India, where his dad functioned as a frontier government worker. The family got back to Britain when Orwell was four years of age. He experienced childhood in a lower working class family in Britain, going to Eton School on a grant. Orwell's encounters at Eton, combined with his consciousness of class divisions and social imbalances, fundamentally impacted his later compositions. In the wake of leaving Eton in 1921, Orwell decided to forego college schooling and on second thought joined the Indian Royal Police in Burma. His time in Burma presented him to the unforgiving real factors of government and given material to his most memorable book, Burmese Days, 1934. The novel, alongside other early works, mirrors his bafflement with expansionism and colonialist double-dealing. Early composing profession and political arousing, in the mid-1930s, Orwell got back to Britain and started filling in as an essayist and writer. He embraced the pseudonym George Orwell to remove his own personality from his political and scholarly work. Orwell's most memorable significant book, Out for the Count in Paris and London, 1933, is a semi-self-portraying record of his encounters living in destitution in the two urban communities. The book features the cruel real factors of the working people and the battles of those on the edges of society. Orwell's political awareness extended during this period, driving him to turn into a straightforward pundit of social treachery. His encounters and perceptions of destitution and class imbalance became focal topics in his work. Orwell's time functioning as a dishwasher in Paris and as a drifter in London furnished him with a first-hand comprehension of the battles looked by poor people, which he investigated in his composition. Spanish nationwide, Orwell's political perspectives were additionally formed by his contribution in the Spanish nationwide conflict, 1936 to 1939. He went to Spain to battle against Francisco Franco's extremist powers, joining a state army subsidiary with the POUM, Laborers' Party of Communist Unification. His encounters in Spain, including the fierce infighting among liberal groups, prompted his bafflement with both totalitarianism and Stalinism. Orwell chronicled his encounters in Tribute to Catalonia, 1938, a journal that offers a striking and basic record of the Spanish nationwide conflict. The book additionally mirrors Orwell's developing attention to the risks of tyranny and the treacheries within the liberal development. Orwell's first-hand perceptions and bafflement with the infighting among hostile to extremist gatherings supported his faith in the requirement for principled, popularity-based communism. Significant works and subjects, Orwell's most renowned works, Animal Homestead and 1984, are original texts and political writing. Known for their sharp evaluates of authoritarian systems and their admonitions about the risks of outright power. Animal Ranch is a symbolic novella distributed in 1945 that ridicules the Russian upheaval and the ascent of Stalinism. Through the tale of a gathering of livestock who oust their human rancher just to wind up under the overbearing principle of a pig named Napoleon, Orwell investigates the debasement and selling out of progressive standards. The novella is eminent for its depiction of how power can ruin and how progressive goals can be undermined. 1984, distributed in 1949, is maybe Orwell's most renowned work and an original tragic book. Set in an extremist future subject to the party, drove by the ubiquitous elder sibling, the novel investigates topics of reconnaissance, restriction, and the control of truth. Orwell's portrayal of a reality where the public authority controls each part of life, re-examines history, and smothers contradict stays. A strong scrutinize of despotism and a getting through advance notice about the risks of unrestrained political power. 
later life, and the later long periods of his life, Orwell proceeded to compose and add to different distributions. He was a productive writer and columnist, known for his sharp friendly and political editorial. His articles, for example, Legislative Issues and the English Language, 1946, and Shooting an Elephant, 1936, offer quick reflections on language, legislative issues, and colonialism. Orwell's obligation to clear, legitimate composition and his scrutinize of political and social issues added to his standing as a main scholarly of his time. Orwell's well-being declined fundamentally during the last long stretches of his life. He experienced tuberculosis, which exacerbated his all-around chronic weakness. Regardless of his ailment, Orwell kept on chipping away at his composition and draw in with political and social issues until his passing on January 21, 1950, at 46 years old. George Orwell's heritage is portrayed by his relentless obligation to uncovering and evaluating political and social shameful acts. His works significantly affect writing, political idea, and mainstream society. Orwell's admonitions about autocracy, his support for majority rule communism, and his evaluative language and political control keep on reverberating in contemporary conversations about governmental issues, society, and the job of the author. Orwell's impact reaches out past his abstract accomplishments. His works are broadly considered and referred to in conversations about political hypothesis, morals, and the force of language. The expressions Orwellian and older sibling have become piece of the advanced vocabulary, representing the risks of harsh reconnaissance and political control. Taking everything into account, George Orwell's commitments to writing and political ideas stay fundamental and important. His sharp perceptions, strong studies, and obligation to truth have established his place as one of the most significant and getting through voices of the 20th 100 years. His works keep on motivating perusers, incite thought, and act as a wake-up call of the significance of cautiousness in shielding opportunity and a majority rule system. Thank you for watching.